Well, talks are underway in, in Beijing today, led by Deputy U.S. Trade Representative Jeffrey Garish and accompanied by undersecretaries from the Departments of Treasury, Commerce, and Agriculture. This is a return trip for the deputies after talks in Beijing in early January, and now they are trying to lay the groundwork for Treasury Secretary Mnuchin and Ambassador Lighthizer's arrival in China on Wednesday to further these talks. The U.S., will remind you, is still looking for formal concessions on structural issues and the U.S. wants to agree on how the deal will actually be enforced. That is key here. The outcome of this week's negotiations will determine the U.S.'s next steps and whether President Trump will hold off on doubling tariffs on March 1st. Higher tariffs have impacted trade flows. That's according to the Institute for International Finance. The import of Chinese goods that are subject to that higher 25 percent tariff those imports have slowed, while the lower 10 percent tariff on $200 billion in Chinese goods has not caused a meaningful decline, in part because Chinese producers have been lowering prices to counter the cost paid by U.S. businesses. That's data that would seem to appeal to the president's gut instincts on trade, but indications from two administration officials and three people briefed by the White House is that there is still a desire to get a deal, even if the U.S. needs a little bit more time to do so.